Why are they blowing off the parking lots at midnight? Well guys, welcome back. Uh, I guess if you're new here, my name is Crazy Quady. We do a lot of camping and stuff on this channel and some fishing. You can see my fishing poles there. So I'm in the truck, I'm fully loaded, and I have been on the road for quite a while. So far this morning, I've done 388 miles. And according to my GPS, I have 293 more miles to go uh, to get to where I wanna go tonight. So it's about five more hours. Uh, oh, hey there you can tell we are in small town um, I'm in Kansas somewhere y'all uh, so there's a bit of a horse transfer going on they're doing a deal in the parking lot uh, but I'm sitting here eating a little bit of lunch right now I grab something to drink and uh, I'm just gonna keep on trucking so I'm on a big trip um, I'm headed to the west coast I have never driven this vehicle to the West Coast. I've driven this truck all the way to Florida, so now I'm going to California. And uh, so coast to coast in this truck, since I've had it, that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a few days before I get there. I've got a few different places I'm gonna stop, and then we'll be in California for a little while, and then we'll take our time to go back home. But for now, I need to keep on trucking down the road and try to get to my destination and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, there's actually a campsite available. I have no idea if there is, but if not, I'm sure I can find somewhere to just crash in the back of the truck. It says I'm gonna be there at 6.30 this evening. Uh, honestly, I don't know if I've passed um, the time zone change because I would go back uh, one time zone before I get to where I'm going. I'm headed to somewhere in Colorado. So anyways, y'all, I guess, Stay tuned, we'll see what we can get ourselves into. Welcome to Colorado. Get out and check out what this stuff is, guys. While we're here, we might as well. Well, that's wild. There's an actual fire, like fireplace right there, just on the side of the highway. But here we go. So I'm, on, I'm not on the interstate, obviously. We've got the Blue Star Memorial Highway, a tribute to the nation's armed forces who served in World War II, Colorado Federation of Garden Clubs, Colorado State Highway Department. I like to always stop at these anytime I can. That's yeah, pretty cool. There's not a whole lot here, but it's always cool to stop when you can. All right, got to hop back in the rig and we've got a few more hours on the road. Stay tuned, y'all. Well, guys, um, it's 4.13 in the afternoon, uh, and I decided to make some phone calls to try to find uh, a campsite to make sure that spot that I wanted to go to was open, and it is completely booked up. There's like 80-something camp spots at this campground next to this thing I wanted to check out, and it's packed i can't camp there and as far as i can tell there's not really anywhere around there that i'm going to be able to camp um i'm in way southern colorado uh so i'm not up near the mountains it's just i mean it's like sand dunes and stuff out here right now um so i actually need to find a spot to pull over there's I, i'm not going to pull over on this road uh, but as soon as i can find a spot to pull over i'm gonna have to see if I can figure out where to camp tonight. I had planned to be, I was gonna be at camp at about 6.30, so um, just a couple more hours, but I'm gonna take a look at maps and I might just keep pushing and pushing so that I can get closer to my destination. Uh, today I wanted to just jam across Nebraska and uh, get into Colorado and just get, get farther, do the biggest part of the drive today. So I had over an 11 hour drive planned for the day. Uh, we might just keep pushing past that 
for all I know we might end up at a truck stop tonight, but I need to find a spot to pull over up here, take a look at maps, see if I can find a campground, and see what I can do. So stay tuned guys, the plan for today is completely unraveled, so uh, we'll see what we can make happen, figure it out, stay tuned. See those mountains? snow on the top of them. <sighs> All right guys, well, uh, driving through a small town up here um, and I can actually finally see the mountains off in the distance. Uh, so I can't really find a place to camp. Uh, right now what I've got set into my GPS is a Walmart that is about an hour and 15 minutes away. It says I'll be there about 7 p.m. Uh, so I think tonight we're gonna stay in a Walmart parking lot. I've never done that before so that'll be a new one on me uh, but according to uh, what I saw on Google is that they do allow overnight parking at this one and people were commenting that it's typically got a few RVs in the lot and with everything being booked right in this general area all the campsites that I found have been completely booked I imagine there's probably gonna be a few other people there, but uh, we're headed that direction. I think it's Alamosa, Colorado is where it's gonna be at. So anyways, guys, I got another hour to put in here. Um, I'm honestly not really looking forward to sleeping in the back of the truck tonight. It's currently 90 degrees outside, so it's gonna be hot. Anyways, we'll keep on rolling. I'll see you guys when we get there. I'm here, there's Walmart behind me. I am in Alamosa, Colorado. Ooh, Alamosa, Colorado. Oh, what did I do? How many miles did I put on today? I put on quite a few miles. 687.7 miles today. What up, homie, nice bike. Anyways, um, I'm probably not gonna park in this exact spot. There are a few other people, I think, here that are planning to stay the night. As far as I know, you're more than welcome to stay the night here. I am gonna go inside and probably grab some food and uh, you know, talk to customer service maybe and just ask them uh, to be appropriate. But um, I do have some burgers and stuff with me. I have burgers, I've got a steak, I've got hot dogs and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna be grilling in the parking lot here. So I've gotta find myself something to eat for tonight and uh, find my actual parking lot. And then we're just gonna hang out for the evening. Stay tuned, y'all. All right, guys, well, I'm set up. I am at Walmart. <laughs> um, but I moved over to the back end of the lot and as you can see, there is a bus here they're actually running a generator you can see a little generator down there uh there's a there's another camper way over there you can probably not see that at all there you go they're staying the night uh, there's another van right there and you've got a van and then that truck just pulled in and i think they're going to be camping out too um, but it also looks like there's a couple other vehicles in the lot here uh, yeah, I think there's going to be quite a few people staying here overnight, so uh, this will probably be the most Dang buddy. This is going to be one of the most populated Walmarts I've seen uh, As far as overnight camping goes, I went in there and I asked for permission and They just said, yep, just go as far to the back of the lot as you can uh, And you can stay here for up to 48 hours, so uh, I don't plan to stay here long I'm going to get out of here bright and early in the morning, but We'll get into dinner here in a minute. I just want to relax for a little bit. Uh, it was a long haul today. And uh, I'm gonna sit back, relax, and 
when the sun starts going down, we'll grab some dinner. Oh, well, I guess I was gonna show you guys this, which I didn't show you when I got here. So if you look out this window here, you can see the mountains. They're much bigger when you're sitting here. Of course, it doesn't wanna focus because of the screen, but there you go, way out there. So I still have decent views. Um, yeah, it's cooled off a little bit. I think it's about 81 degrees. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna sit back and relax for a little bit. And then we'll grab some some Walmart dinner here, which was dumb. Uh, there's a Wendy's right there. I don't know why I didn't go to Wendy's. And I might actually drive, I might actually go get Wendy's. And I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna sit back and relax for a little bit. And uh, then we'll grab some dinner. Well, all of a sudden, starting to go down. Um, and it's starting to cool off really quick. I've already turned my fan off that I had in the window there. Uh, and I finally thought, well, maybe I should look at the forecast. It's gonna be a low of 39 degrees here tonight. Luckily, I, I should be plenty warm with the sleeping bag and the clothes and stuff I had. But I honestly didn't expect it to be that cold. Uh, but where I am, it's like, I think they consider it like a high desert area here in Colorado. Uh, like I said, it's Alamosa. Uh, what I was going to check out earlier today, where the campground was at that I was planning to go to, was uh, Great Sand Dunes National Monument, which is back a little ways. It's not too far away. I've seen it. I wanted to show it to you guys, but we'll just have to wait for another adventure to check that out, I guess. Uh, but I'm going to start chowing down on dinner, and then I think I'm going to get a movie going, get all my curtains closed up, and hang out. There's been a couple more campers that have pulled in. Uh, I don't know if you could see there was somebody else that pulled in over there and uh, looks like an expedition or an explorer, I don't know. Anyways, let's get into dinner here, our super fancy dinner. I've got plenty of snacks in here, but tonight we're going to have this roast beef and cheddar. As you guys can see, I've got some hamburgers and a steak and hot dogs and other stuff in here and uh, plenty of water. And a couple beers and stuff. I don't think I will be um, drinking any beers in the Walmart parking lot though. Uh, yeah, it's probably not the the juice here, but I thought about running over to Wendy's or somewhere else in town, but honestly, I don't want to get back in the driver's seat and I don't really feel like getting out of the truck to walk anywhere. Wow, there's somebody over there. Like, dude's full set up in the parking lot. <laughs> okay, maybe I could have cooked because He's getting after it there. <laughs> I don't feel like doing that. So I'm just gonna eat my roast beef and cheddar sub. Yeah, simple dinner. I guess I don't really need my hat on anymore. I could probably honestly take that pan out of the window already. Yeah, I'm surprised at how cold it's gonna be tonight, but I'm not complaining. I'd rather have it be 39 degrees than uh, 90. I thought it was going to be that. When I started climbing up into the mountains a little bit, it cooled off. I think it got, and it's actually kind of windy, I don't know if you can tell, but it got down to like 70-ish. Uh, and then as I kind of came back down that one side of the mountains and into this high desert, it climbed back up into the 80s. But My brain made me realize that my mustard is in the back of the truck and I really don't want to get out. Sandwich is good. It's definitely used some condiments on it, but it's gonna fill me up. Walmart, I think this Walmart closes. This isn't a 24 hour Walmart. I don't know if they've all gotten back to 24 hours yet since all this nonsense has happened, but this one closes at 11. At least that's what Google says. I don't know, even if this Walmart does close at 11, I imagine they might have a night shift that's in there all night, but I could be wrong. I think I'm gonna save the rest of the sandwich for a little bit later tonight, but. Well, my half a sandwich was good, y'all. Oh, 
9.30, man, time is just like flying. No, this one, it says 8.30. Oh, it must be 8.30. That one, this one hasn't adjusted yet. So I just turned it on. I don't know if it's got location settings or anything like that turned on. That's why I was like, man, it got really late really fast. Dur -dur -dur. All right, I got on Amazon Forgetting Sarah Marshall Unrated. I'll watch that. I've seen it before, but it's been a long time, so that should be pretty funny. I'd be surprised if I made it to the end of the movie, though. I'd probably end up going to bed. Who knows? Yeah, hour and 57 minutes. I guess it's only 8.30. It's 9.30 at home. Uh, I like this cooler, guys. I think I'm going to get the smaller version of it to replace my other one. Maybe. All right. Well, I'm going to lay here and enjoy the movie and the sights and sounds of the Walmart parking lot and uh, I guess I'll get back to you guys if anything crazy happens stay tuned well guys movie's over uh, it's getting pretty late I'm surprised I actually stayed up through that it's 10 30 I'm gonna head to bed uh, it's still pretty quiet here uh, there's a guy a couple spots over in like a Dodge Caliber sleeping in that so there's quite a few people here tonight um, but I'm gonna go ahead and head to bed and I'll see you guys in the morning stay tuned Guys, where's my light at? You guys have to be able to hear that, right? It's gone. Is he finally done? That's a good right there. There he is. Why are they blowing off the parking lots at midnight? What the hell? I'm sure the bus folk are happy. away <laughs> so oh let me zoom that out where's the zoom button at so I've been laying there God, it's 1140 it's 1140 at night so you know I'm not feeding you a line yeah, I don't understand why they would choose to do it so late. I understand the parking lot probably needs to be empty, but go on with that. Oh, man. Like, how long is it going to take this dude? That's ridiculous. Whatever. Well, guys, I'm going to listen to this guy uh, keep blowing the crap off the parking lot, I guess, because 11.40 at night is, you know, much better than, like, 6 o'clock in the morning or something that, uh, whatever. Back to bed. See if I can fall asleep. Good oh, morning, y'all. 7.30. 726 actually and people are really starting to move around out there trucks rolling a 
all that. Oh. <sighs> Well, those vans are already gone. That bus is still here. Oh, well, it's, it's light. Camera's starting to fog up. Let me get some coffee going quick and then it'll be time to roll. All right, y'all, well, I got changed and kind of got everything cleaned up. I'm gonna get ready to head out. I didn't make any coffee this morning. Um, I'm just gonna go pick some up. Although it wouldn't take me long, I'm just gonna grab some because I do need to get on the road quickly. Um, I probably slept in too late as it is, but I'm going to try to make it all the way to the Grand Canyon today. And I have a feeling that same as last night, all the campgrounds are going to be booked. So my loving wife is currently looking for somewhere for me to camp. That way I don't have to sit here and stare at my phone. I couldn't really find much last night. Oh, I might as well grab myself a coffee cake out of here. We'll have that. And then I'm going to hit hit somewhere up. Maybe I'll just hit a McDonald's. I don't think Wendy's. Does Wendy's serve breakfast? Doesn't look like it. A little anti stink on since I didn't get a shower this morning. I think I should be able to get a shower. Uh, tonight, my wife thinks she might have found me a spot to camp at, so uh, it ain't gonna be anything great, I don't feel like, but it'll be better than the Walmart parking lot and the guy with the leaf blower. What was up with that, y'all? Like, are they not smart enough to just have a street sweeper drive through here? I don't know. That guy must have. Yeah. I ended up actually finding a set of earplugs in my truck. And I put earplugs in and I was finally able to go to sleep. I could still hear them here and there, but uh, he ended up falling, I ended up falling asleep. And yeah, that, that was kind of ridiculous. If they would have said it was going to be like that, I probably would have parked right here. But then again, where else was I going to park at? water in the tree back there y'all honestly backs closed up I think it's time to hit the road all right y'all well I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out uh, since I've got a few more days. Let's see, it's two, today's Wednesday. I plan to be at my, I don't even know if I said it, I'm going to California, I'm going to San Diego. And my my brother-in-law's got a really fancy boat and they live on it and that's where we're going. But I've got a few more days to get there. Uh, today is Wednesday and I am in Hala, Al Alamosa, is it Alamosa, Colorado. Uh, to the Grand Canyon from here is about eight and a half to nine hours uh, according to my GPS and I have my GPS I use Google Maps and I just have it set to uh, uh, avoid highways and avoid tolls so you don't get on the interstates or anything like that which I might have already mentioned um, but about eight and a half hour drive it's already is it 8 30 in the morning yeah my my radio would not have switched back so 8 23 in the morning and I gotta hit the road so I'm going to go ahead and close this one out, and uh, oh, I've got something booked for tonight. I'm staying in a cabin tonight. So, stay tuned for the next adventure, y'all. It's going to be a good one. We'll be next to the Grand Canyon, and I guess I'll be in a tiny little cabin this evening. So, stay tuned for the next adventure, y'all. I'll see you in a bit.